got these. Uh, and then punch through here. We got three more, I think. I'll make that four. Yeah, see, that's not much. It's 18 total. That one gave me eight. It looked bigger, though. See? The difference. These trees don't give too, too much. But, I mean, it makes really pretty wood. So, the sacrifice for growing it and having pretty wood is, well, fuck it. Fuck it up. Just take the time to first sit there and farm them. There we go. Pretty. Let me grab more saplings, please. Oh, I love these trees. They give me so many more saplings. I've been, oh, I was angry at this freaking jungle tree off camera. Because literally, I was trying to farm it and, like, reproduce the, the saplings so I can get, like, a whole stack of saplings. So there would be times when it would literally, one tree would not give me a single goddamn sapling. It's like, it's like, this Minecraft world does not want me to have jungle trees. Fuck off. I'm going to have a jungle tree no matter what. I'm going to sit there and cultivate it. I'm going to have <laughs> jungle trees. This one back here, that's giving me trouble. The one that I have right here. Oh, and the one right here, it's not gonna grow. Oh, why not? Stupid. Ugh. Piss me off. They don't grow well. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can grow an acacia over here too. Right in the middle. Here. Nice and pretty. Okay, let's see what 18 gets us. It might get us the rest of this. But 64 and 8, let's see how fast we can go through that. Pretty sure we can go out there real fast. Real quickly. And 64 left. No. Man. No. I'm gonna run out. Real fast. Oh. Dang it. I love how pink it is. Oh, look at it. Looks like strawberry cake. Um, let's see. What can I do in the meantime to this house? I need. I'm, lighting in the central area is gonna be tricky. I think I might do little mini chandeliers. I don't know. Glowstone maybe. But I also like to use glowstone for potions. So that's kind of that drives up the price in like Minecraft currency. Like that's expensive. At that point, because it's like I'm gonna use it for potions, but I'm also gonna use it for building. Um, it's expensive because then it's harder to come by. Um, so I think I might do redstone lamps require redstone and a torch. Am I right? I don't know. I don't remember. Let me let me mess around with some redstoney stones over here and see what it requires. Because if anything, I might just do redstone lamps, but also then they have to be powered. And if they have to be powered, I might have to have a block around them or a torch. Ugh. Ooh, I love the look of this house. Kind of looks like The Sims right now when you, like, have no roof and then you're just kind of looking at it with the walls up. <laughs> Tutu! <-tutu. laughs> I'm fucking dead. Okay, let's go to bed. No nighttime. There we go, and then let's see. What do we have in here? Anything to build with? What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, I was gonna try to see what I can do with redstone. Because redstone I have a lot of since. Oh, well, yeah, there's that, but let's just mess with the enchanting redstone. Um, isn't it. Dang it. I don't remember what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Um, I think it's gonna be wood, and then I'll think of redstone. Boop. Note block. <laughs> We're gonna mess around with this for like 30 minutes. Oh wait, hold on, I got this. It's... <laughs> hold on, give me a sec. Let me just Google. Oh, that's also expensive because that requires a freaking glowstone block. Shit. So uh, that's a no-go. Um, prismarine lamps, though. Um, prismarine Minecraft. Uh, lamp. Let's see what lamp. Hello. Oh, it's called the sea lantern. 
Um, that one's going to be... Okay, so it's a weird combination of shard and crystals. And I don't have shards. I have crystals. Oh, so I really need to visit that sea monument. Damn it. But then I have to sit there and fight the elder. Fuck. Oh, they're the brightest possible light level. See, that would work well because then if I put them right in the center floor, I could basically brighten up the whole entire house at once. They produce the same light as glowstone, red lamps, jack lanterns, beacon. Can you imagine if I lit up my house with jack lanterns? How goth. Fuck yeah, bitch. I might. <laughs> That's a cheaper alternative. Just stick a freaking torch in it. Oh, man. Expensive, expensive. I don't like this legit. Is baby B moving around me? Baby B. The little wet feet. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> oh, expensive. I'm so used to... I'm like so spoiled, baby B. I'm, I've always built skyscrapers on creative. I've never built a house. A simple mansion. Survival. Now I have to do it the hard way. With no experience. Okay. Um, I know one cool thing we can do on camera is, let's see, let's enchant some books. I need lapis, these, ink, let's see, I think 19 will suffice. Put the lapis in there, put a book, and we have plenty of experience, so that's loyalty 3, efficiency 2, smite 1. Hmm. Nah. Are these all the same ones still? No! Okay, um... I just exit out and then go back in. That's not working. Yay. Well, I mean, it is random, isn't it? What if I just... I mean, it's only three experience points. Come on. Efficiency 4, Sweeping Edge, Impaling. Wait! Sweeping Edge is the one that makes... It makes... It's that way when I swipe with my sword. Isn't it? Impaling is the one that is for... Uh... Tri trident. Uh... No! I can't use any of Ah, oh, fuck it, let's just... Me. Magic is magic, just use it. There we go. Might as well have it. Looting, power one. And channeling. Ooh, channeling would be cool. Because I learned that they're gonna... When they add it in the um, newest update, if you strike a, a red mushroom with channeling, and I think in these... Lightning storm, thunderstorm, you can turn it into a brown mushroom. Oh, that'd be a cool thing to do one day. Channeling, channeling, channeling. Yeah. Let's just have like a whole slew of books. Fuck it. I don't even care what Bane of Arthur's pods. Uh, um, let's see. Fire protection. Maybe for one of the uh, um, pieces of armor. Let's do another book. Aqua Affinity, Unbreaking 2, Ooh. Knockback 2. Um, none of these are good. Um, meh. We did enough enchanting. Nice. How oh, fun. Um, let's just put these books in there. and Whenever we feel like it, we'll just throw it on there. Actually, is there something I could do? What do we have? Whoa, that one came with the magic, like, add-on. Add -on. Power 2. Loyalty 3. What don't we have efficiency 4 with? Everything is efficiency 4. <laughs> Shit. Oh, diamond shovel. <sighs> nah. Um... Channeling. Save that for when I have one of those. Fire protection, loyalty three. Yeah, it's for it's the thing, yeah. 
Oof. Can we just drink? Let's see. Can we just go like this, like the old-fashioned way? <gasps> we can. <laughs> the old-fashioned way! Let's see. Let's do... What's more important? Fuck. If I'm gonna start building bigger and bigger buildings and I'm doing this architecture like legit, I'm gonna be falling off buildings a lot. That kind of helps to have some feather falling. Hey, it threw on protection as, as well. I love that, that it kind of randomizes like, oh, you're gonna get a random enchantment with it as well. That's cool. Now my feet won't break. Oh, broken feet. Thanks. Hi, baby bee. Okay. Hi, Bepis bear. See? That didn't hurt me at all. <laughs> uh, I just have a habit of falling off of it. Falling off that staircase. There we go. When I figure as I'm going to do these buildings more legit, going higher and higher and higher in the sky, yeah, I'm going to gonna need some feather falling. I'm also probably in the future, if I'm going to build a skyscraper for the first time, I'm going to need the totem of undying. That would be useful. I can see myself falling all the way off like 12 stories and then, oof, it does its little magic thing. And I'm like, oh, wow, I've been spared a life. <laughs> that would be useful. I can see that for builders. Totem of undying being like really magical. I mean, if I could ever find a mansion, it's probably like 9,000 blocks away like that jungle was. Um, let's see, Peppa Spare. What can we do while we're waiting for... Actually, I don't have to wait for acacias. I just don't like using a lot of bones because I could be saving those for doges. I don't have doges yet. I haven't seen any doges. There we go. Oh, I just thought of something else we can do on camera. In the meantime, really quickly, let me just enchant that. Boop. There we go. And you. Dude. There we go. Usually it takes anywhere from like three to nine bone meal. That's what I've been seeing. Nine are the little hungry trees. Okay. We need these. Is it? Yeah, it's cap and uh, one of these bad boys here. Move, Bepis bear. Damn, you slowed me down. <laughs> Running into bears slows people down. Okay, grab one of these. And we could use one of these in our little village. Oop. Oh, it's supposed to be a jack. Duh. So nice. Uh, to be a jack, it has to diamond axe. Oh. Uh, shovel. Pickaxe. Sword. How did I do it last time? Did I do it with a? I think I did it with a uh, a hoe. Let me see. Ho, ho, ho. Up the stairs. And in the chest. Is that my villager? Why is he up there? I don't. I might as well build him a house on top of the mountain. <laughs> villager style, like actual villager style. Then maybe he'll, he'll like recognize it and actually want to stay in it. He doesn't like my house for some reason. Uh, is it with the hoe? Do I, do I carve it? Oh, no, nighttime. Exactly why I need it. Or does it have to be fresh? Like not picked up off the okay. I think it has to be not picked up off the vine. How did I do this last time? What? How did I? Oh. Oh well. I'll just do it the the way I know. I could have sworn I was out in the wild and I literally like slit a face into it. Hmm. Then I guess I'll just do it this way. Wait. <laughs> no, you can't do it that way. You can't make a jack o' lantern. Let's go to the farm real quick. Click, click, click.
And those, the, the chickies can eat this. Give it to the chickies. Chickies. There you go. Hello. Does anyone not want to fuck this chicken? There you go. Hi, QB. Okay, eggs away. Okay, now. Do we just do it? Dang it. Hi. How are ya? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Are you a crystal gem? <laughs> he has a gem. There you go. He's a fusion look. He has one, two, <laughs> three, four. <laughs> yeah, that's what he is. He has six. No, five. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's iron. Yeah. He's a combination. A fusion. Five iron golems. They're all like little baby ones. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. He's going to protect this area except the creepers. I don't know why. They should be able to just like... Uh, actually, yeah, I know that would be suicidal. <laughs> they actually like fought creepers. Otherwise, I got those guys on my own. Like this one being a nuisance. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Fighting a creeper uphill is really bad. Just use arrows. Got his ass. Oh, what? There we go. Dead. Oh yeah, I can't collect it because it's an infinity bow. I'm so excited! He's gonna patrol the area now. Now it's safer. Especially, I think, if I check F3. My area is now local difficulty 1.38. So, zombie sieges are more likely. Especially when I have more villagers. I mean, of course. They're gonna start attacking like crazy. Um, now, I'm wondering. First floor is Acacia. Should we do the same thing every floor? Cause that's gonna be very expensive. I'm gonna have to farm for a long time off camera. Or I could use jungle. Which is also kind of a pinky color, but like darker pink. Hmm. Let me just sample something real quick. I think it has like a mucky look, doesn't it? No, they all have that same texture. Oh, but it's kind of off pink. Like 90s carpet was like this pink when it was like actually the 90s and then like 10 years later it looked like that nothing looks like <laughs> no um turn oh i can't turn it into sticks i have too many sticks shit uh i can use more torches there we go Um, hmm, I think, oh, did I even show you guys, like, the finished product of the farm? I don't think I did. Here it is. It's beautiful. And I also found a bat that was outside, and he got in when I was doing the glass, and I blocked him in just in time. Where is he at? There he is, hanging upside down. His name is Mouse. Cute. Cute little mouse. The sky mouse. Sky puppy. Flying doge. Um. Oh gosh. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did tell you one of the villagers went through the uh, portal. Let me show you what I did to protect him. I kind of had to baby proof him in. Otherwise he would have died there. And I worked so hard. I spent those freaking materials. The gold apple and potion of weakness. Like, come on. You can already hear him. So he's still in the nether. Uh, why are you still in the nether? Why? It's unsafe. Come back. Oh, that gas over there is making me nervous. Come over here. Yeah, but um, I, I kind of baby-proofed it, so he can't really go anywhere. He's kind of stuck within this house's radius. But I mean, he has friends. They're all around here. <laughs> okay, let's go back there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I told myself that if I came back here, I hope I would brought glass. So I could have done this. Made it a little more pretty. So let's, uh, let's pretty, let's beautify it some more. There 
go. Same thing here. Portal, shut up. Freaking loud portal. There we go. Blue titties. He says blue titties all day long. All his activities are. He just talks about blue titties. Who are these blue titties he talks about? Um. Cobblestone? Thanks. And this one. Oh, look! Little dickhead. There. And this is an uneven wall, I noticed. Very uneven and weird. <gasps> Ooh, we can make it right on this side. There we go. Nice. Now it's much more beautiful. Gas can't see through glass, can they? But I don't think so. Because other mobs can see it through glass, I think. I just thought I remembered, like, if they can see you through glass, they can, like, sit there and try to attack you. So they would blast you, and then, boom, shattered. Your your glass would be broken. Nice. As, I, as you can see, I also pushed back the forest. So now it's carved out there. I also, on this side, where the birch forest is over here, I also made another clearing where you can see that there's a clearing of trees straight through there that leads to the uh, little mine shaft. So we're gonna start having a trail that goes this way very like elegantly. It's gonna be like, ah, hey. takes you straight to the little little um, mine shaft. Hi, Mrs. Puff. How are ya? I'm thinking of making Mrs. Puff a little more enclosed, like maybe glass, kind of like a greenhouse, but like for the little fishy. Just because I don't want any mobs like that skeleton that was just there. Survive in the daytime, drop in the water, and then... Because I thought about this. Um, he would drop in the water and then get poked by Mrs. Puff doing that. And then attack him. and then, Or attack her and then kill her. Like, I don't want that to happen, so... I might make that more enclosed. Otherwise, if you see that Mrs. Puff has like a, a second, like a two Roman numeral. <laughs> that means uh, she might have died. But that hasn't happened yet, but I know that's gonna happen. That's possible. So. Oh, look. Splash. Where's our little guard? Let's do an outro with the little guard. Where's he at? If we didn't die, he was expensive. Where's he at? Where'd he go? Did he go to this side? What the hell? The help ran away. Where'd he go? Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Hi. There's no flowers in your hand. There's no villagers. Because they're all over there. Yet. I hope he didn't die. I know he's up there. Okay, well. That's it for this session, you guys. See you later. Bye.